You can't tell me I don't look cute with these brows. You can't. I'm trying to get my shirt to come out. I'm like, hi guys. Hey my beautiful angels, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this very rose goldy, pinky, it's like, I don't know, there's a lot of like nudes going on here, but I just love, love, love this makeup look. I think it looks so stunning, and I really enjoy doing it for you guys. If you guys want to see how I got this look, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and let's jump right into this tutorial. Don't mind my crazy hair right now, because this, this is my natural hair, and I've been trying to wear my natural form of my hair lately, so... Don't mind her, she might get a little crazy flip here, flip there throughout the video. I put a little bit of sea salt spray, so I'm kind of just letting it sit. Today, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, so I'm kind of rolling with it. I got my natural hair going on, my shirt says the future is female, I got a little toothpaste stain on it. <laughs> I was brushing my teeth, I, I dropped some toothpaste, and I was like, it's staying. Today, I want to do something like extra pretty and shimmery and glowy, but I have no idea exactly what I want to do yet. Either way, let's start with skincare. The first thing I'm gonna put on is this Pixie Glow Tonic. It's an exfoliating toner. I have not used too much of their stuff because every time I see it at the drugstore, I'm like, this is so expensive for drugstore stuff. But people are always talking about how good it is, so we're giving it a whirl. I also got this setting spray. Well, it's not necessarily a setting spray. You could use it before or after. It's like a hydrating spray that I really, really want to use. For my under eyes, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Under Eye Cream. Last night, I didn't do any skincare. I just had one of those days that I was like, I don't want anything on my face right now. So I literally did nothing. So when today I woke up, my face felt like crocodile skin. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of that Pixie Glow Mist. It has argan oil, propolis, I don't know what that is at all. It's a nourishing mist. You can use it before or after your makeup. You can use it anytime to refresh. This reminds me of, oh my goodness, it's, it's like a, Honey Jelly Mist, oh, it's from a Korean brand. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I'll put it here when I edit the video so you guys can know. But it like reminds me so much of it. It feels really nice. I don't love the smell, but I'm fine with it. I like anything that makes me look dewy. They had a bunch of other ones. I know they had one that was specifically for oily skin, but you know your girl's dry, so. So to prime my skin today, I'm gonna do a little bit of like a combo here. I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal, and I'm mixing it with my NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer. I'm just putting like half a pump, very, very small amount of the Shimmering Skin Perfector, and then I like to put three drops of the oil. Just do a little mix, and then blend it into my skin. I'm gonna use just a teensy bit of the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. It does fill in the pores pretty well, so I'm just using it on the areas around my nose. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the color W4 Natural Beige. This foundation is an excellent drugstore foundation for dry skin. This foundation has pretty sheer coverage, so if you want something full coverage, this is definitely not it. It's buildable, but it's not gonna build to full coverage, and it also has an SPF of 20, so I can appreciate that. For concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in Light Warm. I used to use this concealer so much. I stopped using it, I don't really know why. I guess because I started venturing off to other concealers, but I still like this one. It's really nice, like brightening concealer. Has pretty decent coverage. We're gonna go here around the nose, chin. Before I go in and blend that in, I'm going to spray some of that glow mist on the sponge, and then go to town. I'm blending in some of that concealer on my eyelid 
just to be able to prime it so we can have a blank canvas up there. I'm going in with my Benefit Cabral to fill in my eyebrows any extra spots they need. I already tinted my eyebrows so they are pretty bold already but there are some spots that I feel like just need a little more filling in. Now I'm going to set my eyelids with my Maybelline Loose Setting Powder just so that it doesn't crease. You could use any powder to set your eyelids. You can use a pressed powder. You can use an eyeshadow that's close to your skin tone or a bit brighter. You can use any powder you'd like. I haven't set my under eyes yet because I wanted to put a little bit of like a liquid concealer and I didn't want it to like clash with the powder. Liquid concealer, <laughs> liquid highlighter. This is the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops and I think it's called Morning, yeah, Morning Light. It is so, 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 so pretty. I haven't used them in forever, but look, look at that. There's like a fly flying around here. That looks, it's just so pretty. So I grabbed some. And I like to dab it right there on the high point of the cheek. You want to do this before you put any powders or anything like that because then it becomes harder to blend over powder, nearly impossible. It adds like a really nice like luminosity, I love it. Now that that's blended out, I'm going to go with the same sponge and make sure that my under eyes are not creased before setting it with powder. because. You want to blend out those creases before putting any powder because once you put powder on, it is not moving and you're going to have those creases all day. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set the under eyes. And I'm setting it right before the liquid highlighter is. I'm going to set my liquid highlighter with powder highlighter. And then I'm going to just set all the areas where I tend to crease, which is like right here around the nose, smile lines a little bit and right on top of the forehead over the brows. This is the Alexis Ren ColourPop Collab and it was a bronzer and a highlighter. However, when I got it in the mail, I realized that this bronzer is way too orange on my face and this highlighter is way too dark for my skin tone. So I use them both as eyeshadows. I love this, love this, love this as an eyeshadow. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Today I'm gonna use this bronzer right here as my eyeshadow in the crease. I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush to blend in the eyeshadow all over the crease and on the eyelid. This doesn't need to be super precise or super perfect. Just however you want, just kind of move your brush all over the lid, but you don't wanna bring it up too high, you wanna have that bright space under the brow so the brow can look more lifted. And then I like to go into my color switch. If you don't know what a color switch is, it's basically like this little spongy, texture and you just swirl your brush in and that way you're able to switch and dip into different colors without it transferring so if you want to use a black eyeshadow now you can and then when you're done with it you just swirl it in here and then you go into like a light pink color and it won't transfer so I go into my color switch with the same fluffy brush just to kind of get rid of that and then I'm gonna make sure it is blended well into the brow bone so there's like that nice fade then with the same brush, I'm going in back into that color and I'm gonna just sweep it under the eyes very, very lightly. And I'm gonna connect it to the eyeshadow up here so it kind of like comes around. This is actually the first ColourPop eyeshadow I've ever, ever owned. This is Lala, their Super Shock Shadow. Look at that, it's like a nice coppery rose goldy color. See that? It's like a dark rose gold coppery color. I, I think it's so stunning. It is just beautiful. Their Super Shock shadows are such an amazing formula for the eyelid. So I'm just going to grab some with my finger and then I'm going to go and just place it on my eyelid. I'm getting this tiny little brush to get into the corners that I can't reach because the nail like hits my nose and it doesn't let me. And it's still applying so beautifully. These Super Shock shadows are amazing. I feel like this is what like ColourPop is like really, really known for. The formula on these shadows 
and the affordability of their products. These eyeshadows though, when you use them, you wanna make sure that you seal them back tightly because I feel like it keeps the, the consistency and the moisture in the product that it needs. If not, it dries out and it gets weird. And now I'm obviously, obviously gonna go into my favorite palette at the moment. This is the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics palette. It is such an affordable and amazing, amazing, amazing palette. I'm gonna go into the color Mousse right here with an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just press it on the outer corner of my eyelid. Just kind of press it on like that. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the same eyeshadow brush that I blended out my crease color. Then with a pencil brush, this is the Morphe E18. I'm going into the same color and blending it into my lower lash line on the outer portion. I'm stopping right before I hit where my pupil begins. I'm gonna go into this highlighting shade, Moonlight, and I'm going to press it onto the brow bone. This is a gorgeous, ooh, ooh, I went a little heavy handed. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighting shade. If you did this just like I did, go in lightly with your blending brush and just kind of blend the two together. So I did a little baby wing with my Wet n Wild liquid liner and then I put some falsies. These falsies are from AliExpress. They were like $1.88 and I love them. I let my hair down because I felt like I was kind of getting like some like dents from the clip. So I'm gonna use this ColourPop um, eyeliner in Honey Dude. It is a nice nude eyeliner and this just is gonna make the eyes look a little more bigger and awake. I feel like it instantly just brightens the eyes. Now I'm gonna grab some mascara. This is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And I'm going to put mascara on my top lashes so they could blend into the falsies and on my lower lashes. Oh, I got a crazy clump here. Uh-uh, you're not ruining my day. With my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm going to warm up the face because right now I look super pale. This is like the perfect, perfect buildable bronzer. It just doesn't go on like unnatural, if that makes sense. Like it just doesn't look too, too much. You can build it up to whatever shade you want. Now I'm gonna grab a fan brush and I'm gonna go into that same bronzer and now I'm just gonna kind of define the cheekbones a little bit. So instead of giving like an overall bronzy flush, this is gonna really like sculpt out the cheekbones, but instead of using like a different contour shade, I'm just gonna use the same one. Now in the It's My Ray Ray palette, I'm going into these two highlighting shades right here, and I am going to highlight like a mad woman. I want like a super, super highlighted, shimmery look. That highlight is strong. I'm going in with the Glow Mist from Pixie gonna kind of let it dry a little bit and then with the same sponge that I use for my foundation I'm gonna press that glow mist into my highlight so it can really look like wet skin and now I'm gonna go in with my setting spray this is the wet n wild natural finish and just give it a few sprays I have like a little pimple right here I'm gonna turn it into a beauty mark It looks cutie. So it can look a little more natural. Whenever you do beauty marks, you wanna go over it with your setting brush that has maybe like a little bit of excess powder. So then it can look like there's makeup over it and it looks really natural. For lip, I'm gonna do an interesting combination. You guys are gonna be like, what? I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Yes, this is going on my lips, but this is gonna kinda go in the outer perimeters just a little bit so that when I put this color right here, it doesn't look too weird like it doesn't wash me out because this color has a tendency to kind of wash me out and look a little strange on me so i'm getting a lip brush and i'm kind of dabbing it in there and i'm going to the perimeters of my mouth my favorite part about makeup is that it literally has no rules like i'm out here using foundation as a lip color 
which by the way, this is a really nice lip color. I use bronzer as eyeshadow, highlighter as eyeshadow. I'm kind of loving this lip color. This is the Alexis Ren ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Bare Necessities. This is super, let me see if I can find some space for you. Like a really nice, like mauvey, rosy, dusty pink. Now this, I'm gonna just kind of blend that in my finger. And I'm doing the same on the top. Now we are officially done. This is the completed look. What do you guys think? I think it looks super cute. I love it. I love how like bronze, shimmery, and gorgeous it looks. I really love how it turned out. I think it looks stunning. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Do you like the way this look turned out? Do you not? Let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.